welcome back to Lauren Learns. It is actually Sunday today, and yeah, because I typically like will film, edit, and post you know, for tomorrow on Mondays. So today, this morning, we went to church as a family, as we typically do every week. Um, we really like to honor God with our time that way. It's not like we have to or anything. We just really enjoy going. And so uh, it always makes me thankful and mindful of my time with God. And I wanted to share that with you today. How I typically go about spending my my time with Him. Uh, and like I started prayer journaling. So today we're going to talk about prayer journaling. And maybe you've never prayer journaled before. I didn't for a long time. I thought it was kind of silly. Like even honestly, even praying. I was like, if our God already knows everything I'm thinking, why the heck do I have to say anything? <laughs> why do I have to tell Him every little thing? Um, I just realized the importance of us getting it. It's, it's not for his benefits, for ours. Prayer is for, because, because when we bottle things and keep things burdened, um, and bur like bottled up, it, it tends to affect us more. And I just find that the more I give it over to him in conversation and prayer, um, the lighter I feel. So... I read this book about a year ago called The Gratitude Diaries, and this also kind of helped my journey to prayer journaling, is that this lady just decided she was going to, for a year, ex do this experiment and practice gratitude in a journal. Well, I kind of loved that idea. I like the idea of me being at the end of my life thankful instead of frustrated and tired. So I've started journaling more and more. Um, and it's not every day, you guys. Like, this doesn't have to be an all or nothing thing, not a perfect thing. It's like when I think about it, I write it down. Sometimes it's before bed, sometimes it's in the middle of the day, just when I'm going about my chores and stuff. Just to get quiet and get thankful for what I've been given and realize that it's like, it's not because of anything I've done. Like, I just feel really blessed in my life that way. So, here's my journal. I love it. I think my friend, my friend Allie gave it to me for a birthday years ago and I, I'd started writing in it, but I think I, because I like, I'll get on these kicks and I want to do something 110% and then I don't, and then I fail, I feel like, and then I stop this like cycle. I'm getting better at that. So I'm realizing like, it doesn't have to be all the time that I do something. Okay. So I read that gratitude diaries book. And I realized, like, how can I put this into my spiritual life? Like, I, I believe in Jesus. I believe that um, he died for me and rose again for my sins. And I wanted to incorporate that gratitude. I wanted to emphasize that piece of gratitude in my prayer life. And because a lot of times my, my prayers were feeling like I'm just complaining all the time to God. I'm, I'm just asking him for things. And I think sometimes it's good to just say thank you. And, um, realize how much he loves us. A couple of friends and I have actually been studying Psalms together and we meet once a week. It's like a highlight of my week. And we have realized that King David, first of all, didn't write all of Psalms unbeknownst to most people, I bet. And we realized that like in a lot of his Psalms, he's kind of whiny. <laughs> he's kind of complaining and just like we've realized the word lamenting he's just lamenting to God and he's giving it all to him like the junk the good stuff people trying to kill him like Psalms gets pretty pretty exciting that way so but the cool part is that he doesn't leave it there he gives all this junk to God in conversation and then he goes but you you are still a good God you're still in control I praise you for your name like those types of things, and I just—it's a very good example about how we can be fully human in our in, in our interactions with with God, but still remind ourselves of who He is and His character. So, um, so yeah, I've started wanting to respond more that way, wanting to respond more fully human and not try to be perfect um, in my prayer life, even and just lay it all out there the way the way that I've been made and the way that I I live my life because God loves me just as I am so um, I just want to encourage you all with that today and maybe you don't believe in Jesus maybe you don't believe that God even exists I just want you to know like I love you everyone has to make their own decision for um what they believe and like I want you to know that I believe that God loves you as well and 
anything anything that I've said today, you could probably take part of it and apply it to your life and just remember that like we can live a life of gratitude. We can live um, fully human and, and be messy and that's okay and that God still loves us. But I know that our time with Him and the more time we dedicate to letting Him change our hearts, the, the less messy that we're going to get just because He's not going to leave us that way. So, um, yeah, I'm so thankful for this time with you. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. And I will see you again next Monday for another episode of Lauren Learns. We'll talk to you soon. Go get messy, have fun, and learn.